Welcome back to another episode. This is just going to be a quick final thoughts on the Andy Anderson Nano Cubic 52 millimeter 97A Dragon Wheel. I skated them for about two months. I got my fill of them. You know, there's things I really like about the wheel and there's some things I don't really like. One is I don't like the square edge on the inside. That kept me from being able to do like really nice slappy smith grinds. But on the opposite end of that, it kept my crooked grinds like locked in really nice. I tend to like a rounder wheel on the inside so that I can slap in and out of things a little bit easier. But other than that, I didn't find many things I didn't like. The wheel stayed intact. I had no chunks. It didn't wear down as fast as the regular Dragons, which was nice. I wouldn't say that I'd get them again because they bow out on the outside. You know, that's like one of the things he says is so you can protect your axle. That's not something I worry about. And the wide patch on this wheel kind of bothers me. I need a narrower patch. I'm not bombing huge hills. I'm not going through the crust. I skate the parking lot with a good slappy curb. And I'm 39. I'm not trying to get super buck bomb hills, get on nuts. I don't need that extra grip that this wheel provides. So if that's something you're looking for, then fantastic. This wheel is great. Aesthetically, I love the way this wheel looks. And because of the way it looks, I just like liked looking at them. They look like little marshmallows. So, you know, in hindsight, I'd say they're worth it. If you like Andy Anderson, if you like um, what he's doing, I don't particularly buy into that the things that he's doing make it easier for your skating. I think skating is a repetition sport and I think no matter what, it doesn't matter what the board is shaped like or what the wheels are shaped like. If you can do the trick, you're gonna learn how to do it on any board that you have. But a lot of people like the little extra tips and things that these wheels and his boards provide. Um, so if that's you, fantastic. It's not something I super buy into yet at least, but the wheel, decent wheel. I like it. It's a good wheel, especially if you're coming back to skating. This is nice. It's soft. It gives you a little bit of impact protection. And um, I found that it didn't slip out too much. And once I got used to the grippiness of it, because it does have a little bit of grip, um, I was okay with it. The only thing I was really worried about going into this wheel was that because they're a little bit softer, they'd be bouncy. So all in all, great wheel. If you really like Andy Anderson, if you like the way these wheels look, I think you should go out and get it. If you don't, the Dragons work just as fine. Um, the only thing is they're just a teeny bit softer. So does it reinvent the wheel? No, but it works good. So until then, make sure you're out there skating, slap some curves, like and subscribe. Until next time. <laughs>